The real question mark for me on Team Pain is going to be Russian Badger going with the recruit pick. Oh. Not oh. exactly an operator that you see a lot of play with. Uh, dude, I, I love him. He's going to be bringing out the memes all match. I can just feel it. Starting with the recruit. We gamers, man. That's how we work, you know? Two weeks ago, I played in a Rainbow Six E3 show match of Team T-Pain versus Team Lil Yachty for charity and a cash prize in LA. We got T-Pain, we got ammunition, we got b -Nans, we got Lil Lexi, and we got the Russian Badger. What's good, homie? And holy shit, did I ever receive an unexpected response. I had 15,000 viewers on my stream when I usually can't clear 1,500. I was featured in all kinds of E3 videos due to my lone singular individual clap and my god was it ever a fucking tidal wave in my twitter mentions about how much taller i am than everybody else i don't know why you guys thought i was small when i'm six foot four which accidentally spawned the most unexpected 511 versus six foot meme ever yo dude look at how tall ah! So I figured, fuck it, why not tell the whole story from my perspective? From the dumbass pictures, to me being on camera when I shouldn't be, to me refusing to drink from T-Pain's solo cup, to recruit rushing, to spawn peeking with the Chanky Kang, the whole shebang. I have no plans whatsoever to take this seriously and try to win. I am gonna do the dumbest shit imaginable. But before we get started, I gotta thank Dollar Shave Club for keeping me so damn fresh on camera and sponsoring this video. Because I may have a goofy ass looking face, but by God, is it ever clean shaven? Simply put, the grooming products in your bathroom, like shampoo and body wash, are finite, as in you will inevitably run out of them and need to buy more. But what if you didn't? What if your shave stuff, shower stuff, mouth stuff, odor stuff, and even butt stuff all magically appeared at your front door in a box for a small fee? That's Dollar Shave Club, the people that deliver all the items you need to stay fresh to death. My morning routine includes showering, shaving, brushing, and styling, but you want to know what it doesn't include? Going to the store, finding items, waiting in line, and flat out wasting my own f***ing time. Right now, you can see what I mean by trying out their trial set of shave butter, 2-in-1 face and body wash, and 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner, along with my personal favorite executive razor handle and four shaving cartridges that I've been using every day for the past three years, all for just five bucks. If you like it, you can upgrade to the full sizes of each, add or remove products to your liking, and even adjust how often you receive them. All up to you, and the more you buy, the more you save. Or shave. Make your life easier at dollarshaveclub.com slash badger. I repeat, dollarshaveclub.com slash badger by getting your first starter set for just five bucks. And thank you to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring the video. Shave time, shave money, it's all down below. Showdown time. First of all, going into this thing, I was sleep deprived as shit. I had to pull an all nighter to finish a sponsored Ghost Recon video that was also due on the 10th. So I was awake for 32 straight hours before the game even began. So with me already planning, on doing the most moronic dipshit strats known to man, it was only enhanced by the fact that I was running on fumes and needed a large dose of Mentats just to operate a keyboard. Secondly, it took me an hour just to get into the fucking venue. The bouncer slash door guy was like, I don't see you on this list, pal. And I was like, are you... Sure, because that poster over there promoting the T-Pain Lil Yachty show match has my dumbass face on it, sipping from an even dumber looking face on a coffee mug. I'm even wearing the same fucking shirt, my guy. No dice. Still didn't allow me to enter until I started yelling, Let me in. Let me in! That caught the attention of a buddy of mine in Taro, who is a caster in Pro League and happened to be a caster for the event, who got me into the venue like the god he is. So just getting inside in the first place was a challenge. Then I'm slapped by surprise again because the venue wasn't inside, it was outside, and it may have been shaded, but it was still 94 fucking degrees in LA and I was in jeans. So just adding to the list here. Sleep deprived? Check. Annoyance of Ubisoft staff? Check. Extreme swamp ass. Check. But whatever, I'm no newcomer to adversity and apologizing in advance for the audio because both our streams and recordings don't have the voices of my teammates with how bork the setup was, so it sounds like I'm talking to myself the whole time. Chat, you're not gonna be able to hear T-Pain, I swear. 
I'm talking to Lil Lexi and Bonanza and Ammunition and T-Pain. I'm not just making it up. I'm not just saying, oh yeah, that, that's right. That's right, my best friend T-Pain. Yeah, sure, good point. The pregame essentially consisted of me making fun of T-Pain for rhyming the word mansion with Wisconsin in his 2008 song, Can't Believe It. Oh my God, I'm, I'm gonna ruin this for you, T-Pain. I'm so sorry. As soon as I saw you, it's just, I can put you in a mansion <laughs> way out in Wisconsin. God damn it, you had a responsibility. I can't believe people let you get away with that, but that's so legendary that you did it's so great man there's been a lot of those uh in in, in hip-hop like period so you know i think i can get away with one of them <sighs> legendary status that's why you got two bouncers my man that's why you got two <laughs> <laughs> kanye kanye my favorite ones kanye once said uh don't ever fix your lips like collagen when all you're gonna do is end up apologizing yeah. And you know, that whole part where I had to claim that my white monster boomer juice was just water for branding slash broadcast slash copyright purposes. Yeah, I, lo I love water too. I love water. I'm a huge fan of that, that hydration juice, my favorite. With that out of the way, it was finally time to get this shit going. And here we go. Let's going do right it. In. Let's play. All right, away we go. I'm a sip of boomer juice. Here we go, fellas. It's real boomer hours. Round one, you already know what the fuck about to happen, B. All right, I, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm, I'm, I'm recruit rushing. I'm just busting my ass in there at full speed. Let's do this. Here we go. Yeah, boost, boost, boost. Get the F in there. Get the F in there. Because it does appear that with the first Vega boost going oh my off, God. Russian Badger is already at the finish line. <laughs> just inside. I'm out here. I'm playing games like a real gamer. Here we go, fellas. Here we go, Cav. Kill number one. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, kill number two, baby. I forgot the melee button. No shit. I'm down. There's one in kitchen. No. T-Pain is looking for his first kill. He's gonna be having to do some heavy lifting here and doesn't pick the best opportunity to reload. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna get oh, one let's go! T Pain! On the board! On the board! He's down! One left, lands the bomb. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner the diffuser being planted. That's the objective here. It's oh. in the corpse of the Russian badger. Yeah, he's giving him a pillow. There you go. No, he uses your sleep just fine. Yeah! There it is, baby! Yeah! I we'll take the very <laughs> He's doing a victory lap. <laughs> he's going all the way around. Feeling pretty good. Thank you very much. Let's go to round two. Round two had to run my favorite Russian warlord fuse because a show match just isn't a show match without a cluster charge kill. All right, the Russian warlord is in the house. I believe in you. Why is there a question mark at the end of that? I, 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 I believe in you. I believe in you. I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. All right, bananas. We working our way up the stairs. I will back you up, sister. I forgot my gadget button. Yeah, I think I got it. It's all up to me now. Oh, I got a kill with Fuse. Go oh, behind me, damn it. Damn. Yeah, sure, I died, but when one Russian doesn't get the job done, grab a second one and hit him harder. And let me tell you, this guy, nobody hits harder. Didn't quite have the pizzazz to put it down, fellas. We're still peeking, though. Oh, baby, the headshot! Boom! Bullseye, Bikini! Going left, going left side, going left side now, left side. Yes! Checked and wrecked! Good shot! Good shot! I'm bad at math, this is not good. Probably my favorite moment of the whole match, simply because the commentator saw me about to peek Bikini with Tachanky Kang and were basically like, you can't just spawn peek with Chanka's pistol, to which I responded, observe. Followed by bang, 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 bang. Everybody drinks the two barrels and pulls out the pier. I'm a great degree of difficulty putting down this turret, and I think the spawn peak with the pistol is not exactly the wisest of ideas. But he's gonna oh fucking one. Oh my goodness! Onto bikini Let's go. body. Absolute embarrassment. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. It's round four, I really had to up the ante, so I decided I would throw out three alibi clones and spawn peek, to which an inexperienced player looks like a four-man spawn rush, and let's just say that they weren't really ready for Betty Spaghetti. Now, this is gonna be interesting. This is called the Hall of Mirrors strategy, so Russian Badger's gonna throw out three decoys. Yes, I got it, it worked! It worked! Checked and wrecked volume two. I can't believe it worked, fellas. We actually did it. May not have won the round, but oh so worth it. Round five, things are starting to heat up because Lil Yachty ended up TKing the shit out of Cap Can. I lit his corpse on fire before shooting Yachty in the face with my saw, and I gotta be honest, he was not too happy about it. Rough on health right now. Oh, Yachty, Yachty, it's oh, oh no! no! <laughs> no! Yachty with the team. 
Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Who's that? Who that? That's Mira. Nice shield. Nice try. Little Yachty. Dude, we got down by Russian Badger. They're gonna come in A. Russian Why Badger the fuck finishes him off. Make this game, on A, on A, on A. Fucking friendly shooter fire. Why the fuck would they do that? <laughs> Oh, I was just sprayed to the wall. He's he's in reading. He's in reading. He's in reading. On the ground. Oh. Yes, the beat. The beat. It says here in this round, but I can bounce back. Look at that. Let's go. Never in a million years did I think that T Pain would bring more pain than me in Rainbow Six. This is impossible. Make it stop. The next round I can only describe as clutch or kick, featuring belligerent screaming and T Pain. Hold up. Hold up. Pay, hold F to pay respects. Hold F! T Pain clutch time. In the 1v4 situation. The finals on the line. $500 million. The Canadian woman's gonna kill you. Oh, baby, the headshot. There's another one ahead of you, T Pain. Frost is in that room. Oh, oh, the double. He's down. You gotta finish her off. Finish her off. She's only down. You gotta go, kid. You gotta finish her off. Finish her. Finish her. No, that's a dead body. There, shoot her. Oh, good try. Not like this, not like this. Oh. Round seven was another nail biter. And the only thing that I contributed to my team was being a clown in the prep phase with my comms that fortunately or unfortunately ended up on the mainstream. So listen closely. Where to hatch? <laughs> This is a, if you were to play this game seriously and you look at the lineup of Team Yachty, okay. this is a very interesting lineup. You got a shield operator, you got two shields, so we Sacriel running the Blackbeard, and then once again, we mentioned this thing in the very first round. It gives you the boost. And for that reason, I'm out. Oh, oh, uh, I got Thermite, I got Thermite. Oh, the double. Thermite's going to reading, he's going to reading, or sorry, whatever. Yeah, yeah, near you, near you in. Oh, oh ammunition. Pick it up, Frags. No, no, in two seconds, T-Pain, it's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap for this dude on the red stairs. It's about to be over. It's about to be over. Yes! See? What did I say? Damn, son, that's like two versus five. I was trying to do percentages, and midway through, I was like, abort, abort this shit. Do not, do not continue, do not pass go, do not collect $200. It's a best of nine game, which means it's first of five wins, which means it's match point, fellas. And if you think I'm not hitting to Chanky, y'all really on some shit. Yeah. This is to chunk the honest <laughs> turn. <laughs> I gotta reload, I gotta reload, shit, shit, shit! And Xander knows exactly where Tachanka is, so you have this preparation phase, where as an attacker, you know exactly where the defenders can be, and all it's gonna take is a quick little mark here. I've been spotted. Russian Badger is gonna be found out, and he might not be long for this earth. I don't know, man, you might not. Got one! Oh, he got him! This is peak performance right here. Xander knows where he is. Oh, right at the door. They got Hibana, they got Hibana coming in delivery. I got one. I'm satisfied. Yo, 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 T Pain, you wanna give me this camera? Alright. Alright. Thank you. The camera's now mine. I oh, good shot, Lexi. Just busting grapes over here. My goodness. Uh drop, drop near Skylight is Blackbeard. Oh, good shot, Ann. Ann is just dropping. Oh, same place, Ann. Same place. Same place. That's uh that's Ash. Same place. Easy kills, yes, yes, all dead, all dead. Please don't kill each other for the defuse. I swear to God, please don't, don't. T pain. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. The hyper carries. The absolute unit. Well done. Well done. With five kills, that's not bad. We are the champions, my friend. <laughs> Just kidding. I won't do that. 40 bands to the charity of St. Jude, eight grand a piece in straight cash, homie, to everyone on T-Pain, and one singular powerful clap in the winner's circle because my ass was tired of clapping. Make them noise for Team Pain! <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? 40K for St. Jude Play Live! The biggest check in the world! Followed by me asking T-Pain if he would buy me a drink as a silly reference to his 2007 hit single, Buy You a Drink, featuring Young Jock. So we have both teams. We're gonna take a few pictures. It's gonna be amazing. 
We got the red cups. And a final sign off by T Pain. All I gotta say is, we gamers, man. We play for everybody. We play for ourselves. We play. We play to win. And you know, we gamers, man. That's how we work. You know. And that's about it. And you see what I mean? No matter how tall I am, I always look tiny in this chair. After watching this video back a couple of times, it just kind of evolved into a living, breathing shit post. Even though I didn't mean it to be. Like a perfectly valid criticism would be, why do you have Cyrax from Mortal Kombat and Red Hood as your commentator placeholders? To which I have no response. Whatsoever. Thank you so much, Dollar Shave Club, for sponsoring the video. So don't forget about the link down below. Thank you to everybody that made it possible. Everybody from Twitch and Twitch Rivals and Ubisoft to T Pain to Lil Yachty to my team to their team to Intero and Wave as the commentators. Everybody that I met. Thank you. Thanks again so much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time when I actually try out VR. <laughs>